We're continuing our climate coverage in a new series called The Tipping Point. This morning, preparing for impact. Work is already underway to store water we will no longer be storing as snowpack in the mountains. An area of big concern, water for irrigating crops in central Washington. King Finds Glenn Farley this morning shows you actual construction to keep the water flowing and grocery shelves full. If you didn't know it, this could be a major construction project in downtown Seattle, but it's not. Instead, we're in rural Kittitas County on the drier side of the state, and that thin meandering object below is an irrigation canal. You are looking at a climate change adaptation strategy. In effect, right now, we are preparing for a future without snowpack. Urban Eberhardt manages the Kittitas Reclamation District. All in, it incorporates over 300 miles of canals and what are called laterals going to individual farms. His own experience dates back to the days as a farm kid in part of the county called Badger Pocket. Starting when I was very young, irrigating pear trees, apple trees, alfalfa, that was my job uh, with uh, my other family members uh, growing up was uh, was irrigating. This is the Yakima Basin Integrated Plan. So this is a comprehensive plan for the basin. It's ecosystem restoration. So we're looking at fish passage, habitat restoration, but we're also looking at water supply. Wendy Christensen is a civil engineer with the Bureau of Reclamation, a federal agency whose job it is to manage water in the West. So for the Yakima project, uh, we rely heavily on snowpack and we usually call it our sixth reservoir. The Bureau of Reclamation claims about four and a half billion dollars worth of agricultural products come from the Yakima Basin. And that doesn't even include water needed for fish and for municipal water supplies. From expanding the water capacity in its existing network of reservoirs to even creating a new one in the Yakima Canyon at a spot known as Weimar, the Yakima Basin Integrated Plan is expected to cost between three and five billion dollars to implement work is already underway. In Kittitas and Yakima counties, Glen Farley, King 5 News.